So Mark and I are at an antique store and there we have our fancy black light with us. $22 for that. Everything in here has been pretty expensive so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want to hold it? No. That's pretty. 48 Um, no, Jadeite, 38. Oh, that one's pretty, 35 for that. Here's turkey, and it did, whoa, let me put my flashlight thing away. Put it in my pocket. That's a 77. Seventy-seven. Just nosing around. Fifty-eight. Salt pepper shakers. Here we go. I'm always looking for a nice pair to pick up. Maybe this time I'll find some. Five dollars. Budweiser. Four. Some dolls down here. The brown kids. Uh, not nice. These are five. They're cute though. Puppy dogs. And 20% off everything. So they'd only be four. I'm gonna check them out. See if they're in good shape. I'm gonna have to pick them up. Well, the bargain baskets, three dollars. Take a look. Is there anything in there worth buying? Now the bargain basket. Whoa! Oh, draw our buttons. Oh, I like that back oh, yeah, there, that no, planter. Can I get close enough to it? I don't think I can. I can't see. So we have some belief. For eighteen. Twelve. That's pretty. Still picking up my salt and pepper shakers. Oh, little toothpick holder. Twelve. Be twenty percent off. I like this booth. A lot of cute stuff. It goes, it drops it in the street, comes back, and they catch it on the tail to the wire. There I am. I like that creamer. How much is he? He is. Stop. 14. And there's the bottom of his belly. Does it say? Hmm. Something. 
I had to put my glasses on. I actually remembered them this time. There you go. $26. Sure. Yeah. I might have to get that. $3 for that. Alright, I'm going to check out this pair. I'll let you know how much it is. Continuing the one. So a bunch of tools up there, but they are proud of them. Mm. Could park in the back. Hmm. Oh yeah. Could have parked in the back. Look at that. What is it? That is twenty dollars. All that planter was fourteen. No, eighteen. I did get it. Seems better days. What would have been in it? Bubblegum? Uh, I don't know. Buttons? Different color names. Buttons. Oh, yeah. It's all about. It's all malt and hops. Taste compare. Hmm. Wow, a lot of old kitchen gadgets here. Mm-hmm. It's eight. That's cool. Vintage. Oh no, the whisk is eight. Eight dishes. Uh, can't even read it. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I actually had one of these glass fish bottles, remember? Mm -hmm. On some, I know, I'm going to go back up. I saw some Vinci Valentines. They were um, expensive. Six dollars for this bag. It's cute. But <clears throat> not six dollars cute. And I don't see a sell. Bags priced as marked. Yep, yeah, I'm behind you. Oh, that's an old uh, shirt. For eight dollars. It's all package. Fifty percent off for a dot. Man, I'm all about the sales. I'll be honest. So that's why I look harder. Seriously, that, that's all I do. Little <coughs> cat would be laugh at him. There's a rabbit fur. Twelve bucks. Mm. We can get a couple from my mom that are cheaper than that. <laughs> did they tag it so it goes off? Yeah, they did. Wow. Wow. That was the same color as that. Uh, there you go, same Ronald McDonald glasses for... $4.50? Is that what it says? I can't read. I think it's five. I don't know. Not some slabs of wood up there. Not the very much interested in Like cherry. Yeah. Kind of like that they were only in... Uh, Only a uh, five quarter and they're a hundred bucks for a slab only about that big. That's not good. That's three, four times what that would be. Oh. But they are dry. My little pony. Ah, my little <laughs> pony. I know. I probably. That's all the song, though. They sing like two more sentences and they're done. And the guys around it. I wanted to go over here. 
as well. 38, 20% off. Really? Excuse me. And the one thing he wants. Ready? Ready? Ten. Ten dollars. Oh, I want to pet the froggy. Pet the froggy. He's got lily pads. He can put water in it. Drink whiskey from a jug. Mm -hmm. And they're 20% off. I wonder how much that lamp is up there. Fire a lot. Ready? Mm hmm. $3. Okie dokie. Yeah. Can you no. read the lamp from here? Looks like. No? Up there, yeah. I'm just curious. Oh, I'm not worried about it. I'm not I picking it up. I don't see a sign. It's cute though, but. I'm not picking it up. Me neither. The piggy's cute. Oh, look, it opens up. The cabinet itself is, whoa, 136. Oh, I found a really nice cabinet at the thrift store yesterday and sold, but it was nice. Not marked. They just have it. it the Teach Pink Pig Planter with Barrel. Um, do you want it? I don't want it. It's cute though. Ten dollars. That'd be twenty percent off, so it'd be eight. He has a little something there on his eyeball. Hundred and thirty-six. Hmm. Are they salt and pepper? No, they're not. No, they're just figurines. Just little figurines. Ah, uh, yeah. Hundred and thirty-six dollars. Oh, how much is the little rooster cockadoodle doo thing? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Made in, in Italy. Italy. Got a couple more things in my hand. Very textured. Oh, let me feel. Oh, yes, it is. Got some old stamps and ephemera. Bluebird. I can't read it. $20. Something dish. You neither. You ready to head back up? Yep. Yeah, it's pretty dissipated by now. Oh, check that out. Oh, they got it glued together? No way. Or is it one piece? Saute dish with attached underplate, three dollars. Really thin. Hmm. I've just never seen them attached like that. There's the Robin glass. Funny, I just saw that at Goodwill. No, what is it, two dollars? They were actually selling it for $1.99 at Goodwill. I do believe. For which one? The Robin. We have a- Like those? Right there. That, that one? That yeah. one? Oh. I was going to get it for Brett, but I put it back. Huh. So Mark and I are back here in this quaint little booth, and I'm back here in the corner. He's checking out the walking sticks. And the fighter planes. And the fighter planes. And I come across some journals. Yes, handmade journals. First time ever that I've seen one out in the wild. 
So this one is $48, Garden Gate. She used the cinch. Now I make a lot of journals as well. So just different seeing one actually out and about. Lots of tuck spots. Hand dyed papers. I like that idea. Oh, not some of her tags. So some tags and pockets, ephemera. That is really neat, and that is a longer burger Christmas ornament. That is Twelve dollars. I think that's the peppermint basket. I think I'm not positive though. That was me. Cute little uh, altar books. These are 15, the smaller ones. With some ledger paper. So just different. I wanted to show you that. Let me put her her other one back here. Really neat. Really neat to find those. Now here's something else I noticed, so I picked this up because I liked the little rabbit. And you see they're seven dollars. Price tag still in there from when she purchased it. Not right, folks, not right. Oh basket with marble day, 24, and that's a longer burger. The Wilbur Chocolate Third Edition. Those have eggs in it, Mark. These baskets. Yeah. Oh no, they're not longer burger. They're they RT Anderson. No, that other one was there, right? That little one. Yeah. That's cute. The galvanized drawer. Ten dollars. So we are done at the mill property antique store it was fun i got some things so be on the lookout for the haul let me show you the window displays that's what it looks like we're gonna head on to the next place so i have a haul welcome to all my stuff behind me and this was a really fun trip this was to the mill property in morgantown pennsylvania February 8th so again before all the stay home uh, I'll show you what I picked up I did hit pretty hard the salt and pepper shakers in that one booth actually I hit that booth pretty hard period and the first thing out of my bag I believe this is an Avon piece and it was ten dollars but her whole booth was 20% off and believe it or not Later down the road, that's still in one of these bags, I find a little creamer that matches this set. And I think I found that at Good Stuff Thrift. It's a real cute cracker basket. And I just love cats. So, and every, it wasn't chipped. Everything's still intact. Uh, salt and pepper shakers. I got Taz. The Tasmanian. Um, Looney Tunes. So his head is either the salt or the pepper. And there on the bottom it does say um, Warner Brothers made in Taiwan. And it has a SKU number on there. Let's see if he's empty. I think he is. And this one on the side is Danger. And a little dynamite box. And then Taz sits on top. And I will probably list these. Uh, I didn't really get those for myself, but you know, at like $3 and 20% off, 
I thought it would be fun to pick them up and they weren't they weren't chipped or anything like that. Next set of salt and pepper shakers. I do believe these were three dollars because she has marked on the receipt as love bugs. And uh, I know they're the walruses are seals, but you can touch them to kiss. And they're um they're marked salt and pepper shakers, but they are not. There's no holes whatsoever. <laughs> now that I look at it. In their head or bodies, there's just a hole in the bottom. So more of a figurine to enjoy. And they are cute and they are made in Japan. They have their sticker on the bottom. And uh, they, I just took them out of the wrapper. So looking at them, they don't appear to be chipped. Even the fins, a little dirty, which I think I could probably clean that up pretty quick. So I got those. And out of that same booth, I got some dogs. They remind me of the RCA dogs. And she doesn't have it marked in the receipt. So again, they were probably, I think these might have been the $4 salt and pepper shakers. One has a gold collar and one a black collar. So you can tell the difference when you're grabbing it. There's a, again, looks like something is marked. Oh, it says Master uh, RCA. Hmm, it is RCA dogs. It's funny because I remember the cashier saying, those remind me of the RCA dogs. I said, yeah, me too. And they are, they are marked on there. I think it's a copyright. So I'll have to put my reading glasses on to read that a little bit better. And then the last things I got in her booth were the garlic. So I did get the garlic salt and pepper shakers. They have a plastic stopper. I marked Japan very lightly in green on the bottom. So when I saw the big clove of garlic and there it says garlic so I guess yeah they're supposed to be garlic well they could be onions I don't know they match it'd be a perfect set to sell together she does have it closed shut so I just pulled the tape off and the good news is it looks like it's clean and doesn't smell like anything it doesn't look like it's chipped which is always a good sign because uh, we could play a drinking game with how many times I pick up something that's chipped and then buy it it's like chip things belong in my home. So cute. That was three dollars. And then I think the salt and pepper shakers were three dollars as well. So that would make the Taz like five, the RCA dogs four, and then the love bugs were three. In case you're keeping track. Okay, so that was the end of her booth. We moved on. Oh no, wait. No, wait. The Bambi planter. Look how cute that is. That was up in the corner. I couldn't get to it. There was a little crazing on the bottom. It was 18 and then she had the 20% off, so it was a little over $14. It has Bambi written on the side here. And then it does say Disney, Walt Disney something. Embossed there. But I love it. I just love the colors and the cuteness factor. Uh, again, though, I will probably put this up on eBay for resale. And I don't see any chips or cracks. That seems to be in my vocabulary, chips and cracks. So good there. Okay, then we moved on. And found this little uh, dish here. I believe it was just a dollar. It was 20% off. I picked it up for a dollar and... I figure maybe like, a, I don't know, because I quit, I suppose. And I found this for myself as a little notepad, Primitives by Kathy. She used to sell a lot of stuff like this and now she's went more, not so much primitive as she has went, like God, what was like farmhouse style. And it's just not for me. I'm just not into all the inspirational words and like things that, yeah, like Ray Dunnish style, I guess. So the little pad was 
225 minus 20 percent off a dollar 80 and that will just go in my collection i have a bunch of her uh notepads and when i find one i grab it i don't know if she'll ever go back to that stuff anyways enough about her and this fun book fun with birds because i plan to rip the pages out of it and use it in a journal believe it or not it doesn't smell like super old but it has the old funk to it and this was um three dollars twenty percent off 240 and then my last things were these stamps so this booth had boxes and boxes of stamps and postcards and books and like Time Magazine. Um, I think there were some albums underneath. So these stamps here were not much too, uh, they were a dollar a piece. And then he had, or she had 20% um, off. And you can buy stamps already tore up at Hobby Lobby, but for, you know, 75 cents, I'm just going to tear these out and use them again, you know, in journals and make like kitten paper clips and things like that. So, um, it's fun. It's fun to see the older stamps and play with them. And then I don't feel guilty. And for some reason, he had all these old funky calendars, or, or she had these, you know, calendars and books that they kept their stamps in. Uh, is that it? Stamps, coloring book, and stuff. Oh, wait, one more thing. The greeting cards here, and they were $2.00. 20% off a dollar a day. graduate thank you and how fun it's almost a perfect size for an ATC card it looks like it's probably a three by four and um, just keep to tuck in use it as a tuck spot that kind of thing so that's it that's everything from what the mill property in Morgantown PA after that we head over to Adams town and that's what's in that stuff behind me. So be on the lookout this week because I'm just going to like every, we made a couple more stops and I'll have a haul behind that. All right, take care.